is me Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing a testing and reviewing video on these four makeup products that I purchased over the weekend in Boots and they are all by Revolution. They're Quick Fix Matte Fine Primer, their Matte Bronzer, the XX Oud Satin Lipstick and the Super Fix Concealer. So this is actually the XX Revolution collection by Revolution Beauty. Um, and like I said, you can purchase any of these products that I use today in Boots. I believe you can get them in Superdrug. They are also available on Beauty Bay's website as well, which I'd really recommend having a look at. If you don't use Beauty Bay and you're a massive fan of makeup, I'd highly recommend using their website. They also have an app as well that you can use. So you can purchase these products off of there too. So I'm going to be using these as well as the rest of my makeup routine. So we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So the first product that I'm gonna test is their Mattifying Primer. And first things, it just comes in a squeezy silver tube. So it says, instant retouch for a perfect matte base. And then it says, universal tone, reduces shine and smooth skin whilst holding makeup in place. And it has witch hazel and pink clay in it. Now I went into Boots with the intention of buying a Mattifying Primer because I did need one. I find that my skin performs a whole lot better when I use a mattifying primer. So that's why I decided I'd pick this up. So it actually comes in a pump. So we're just gonna put a few pumps of this. Hello. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're just gonna put this on the main four parts of my skin. So the first impressions is it feels really, really nice on my skin. It feels lightweight, it doesn't feel too heavy and it's blending really easily too. And I'd also like to quickly mention, it smells really nice too. Yeah, that has definitely mattified my skin a lot. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but it's definitely mattified my skin really, really well. This was 12 pounds by the way, if you're interested in knowing the price list for any of these products, I got this for. Well found. So that first product is definitely a big fat tick for me. So I'm just going to quickly go off camera and do my foundation and then we'll come right back and do the concealer. I've put my foundation on. I've just gone in with my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I haven't put a load of product on just because we're going to be going in with the Superfix concealer next and I want to see if it really covers up my spots and my dark circles here under my eyes. I decided to get it in the shade CX6 just because their shade range was really, really good. It's just really hard to get out. Oh my gosh. Right, so this is the packaging. So it's just in a um, frosted glass bottle and then it's got a nice lid on it. I like the brush. So as you can see, the brush is actually dented. It's not a straight, kind of looks like a little doll shoe actually which I suppose really helps to get in certain areas of your face where you need to really get in. So I actually think this could be a little bit, oh no, it's not. For a moment, I did actually think that this was gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but it looks like it's the perfect shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on all the parts of my face that need covering up, which in my case is everywhere at the minute. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and we're gonna blend it in. You know what? That's actually done a really, really nice job. It's got really, really good coverage. It's covered up the majority of my spots. It's blended under my eyes really, really nicely. It's got around my nose really nicely too. It doesn't feel too cakey or heavy either and it just has a really nice finish to it on my skin. So I'm really, really happy with that. It did oxidize on my face quite quickly, so I would probably recommend you doing your concealer section by section. So put it on, blend it in, put it on another bit, blend it in, just because I put it on all at once and I noticed that it started to oxidize over my face, so it was harder to blend in. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder now, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the matte bronzer which is the next product so this is called xx bronze and it's in the shade demo which was their lightest shade but for me if it's going to be that kind of shade i think it could be a little bit 
too dark but we'll see how we go um i forgot to mention previously um the concealer was 10 pounds um and the bronzer is also 10 pounds as well so it comes in this really nice gray shiny packaging just like this and then it's got a nice nice sized mirror which of course i love a nice travel packed mirror and then it just looks like this inside with the letters xx carved into the bronzer so like i said this possibly could be a little bit too dark for me and so i'm just going to go in with my angled brush and we're just going to pat that i'm just going to tap some of the excess off and just do my bronzer like i normally would <laughs> surprisingly that's not actually too dark for me that is i would say actually a perfect color for my skin tone for bronzing um so it blended really really easily feels really really nice on my skin and um, it hasn't gone patchy anywhere um it's just yeah it's just blended in really really nicely and it's got a nice finish on my face and um, I think this might actually become my new favourite bronzer. I really like it. It's just given my skin that really nice sun-kissed look that I like it to have, especially now that it's starting to get warm and sunnier outside. I think it's got a really nice finish to it. It's got a bit of a glow to it as well, actually. I've just brought you guys out um, to my window just so you can see the bronzer in the natural um, lighting. I think it looks so, so pretty. What do you guys think? So I've just gone and bobbed on some mascara, just so my eyes look a bit more awake. I've gone in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And then the final product that we're going to test out today is the XX Oud Satin Lipstick. This is in the colour Phobia, which kind of looks like a berry colour on the packaging. So this is the lipstick. So very similar to the concealer. It's in a frosted glass bottle, but then it's got this nice ribbed, shiny gray lid. So I'm wondering if it's going to be, oh no, it's not. I thought it might have been a similar um, dofa to the concealer. So it's quite a flat brush. But I really, first of all, I really, really like the color of this. I'll just give you a little swatch just so you can see on my hand this is a really pretty color these are usually the colors that i tend to draw myself towards let's see how it looks so this is the shade on my lips please excuse the smudging i made a mistake and i've tried to correct it and it's epically failed it is a gorgeous color it is exactly the colour that I wanted it to be. It's a nude lip, but it's got that hint of berry colour to it, which I said earlier is my favourite kind of lip colour to go for. It doesn't feel sticky. When you first apply it to your lips, it's a really glossy finish. But as I'm noticing now, it's drying really, really matte, but it's not drying to the point where it's making my lips look and feel really crusty. It's giving it a really nice finish. You would probably be able to keep this on all day. I believe this was £10 as well. Um, I'll um, leave it on screen just because I haven't got time to pop up and have a look. But I think this was around £8 possibly. Overall, I am obsessed with all of these products that I've bought. I love every single one of them. The primer, really liked it, gave a really nice finish on my skin and prepped my skin really nicely, ready for my foundation. The concealer, really, really nice finish again. Um, covered everything that I needed it to cover, but of course it does oxidize really quickly. The bronzer, definitely a new favorite in my makeup collection. Travel handy, the mirror is just a perfect size and the shade is absolutely perfect for my skin tone and it had a really nice finish on it too and then yeah of course the lipstick really nice finish on that as well dries really nicely not sticky helped shape my lips really well and the color is just absolutely stunning so overall i'm really really happy with my purchases i love all the products i'd recommend all of the products that i've tested today for this video 
Um, like I said, I will leave um, a price list down below for you guys in case you wanted to know how much they are. And like I said, you can buy these in Boots. I believe you can get it in Superdrug. Don't quote me on that though, but I am assuming you can because you can get Revolution in Superdrug. And you can also get these on the Beauty Bait website as well. And of course, they are available on Revolution Beauty's official website for purchasing as well. So that's pretty much everything. Hope you guys like the makeup look. It's pretty simplistic, but I think that it's got a bit of boldness to it as well with the extravagant lip. So let me know what you guys think of these products. Let me know if you like them, if you're interested in buying them yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, let me know down below what you think of these products. And of course, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and press the subscribe button. That would really help me out a lot. And other than that, that's everything, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!